Welcome to the Wavebox What's New Bulletin. Let's get you up to speed on the latest developments and new features. March has been a whirlwind of ChatGPT developments with the release of Brainbox and Flow. But there were also two essential Chromium updates, and some great new time-saving features. Let's take a look. First up is Brainbox. Yes, Brainbox is back, bringing the power of ChatGPT to every app and tab you use. Right-click and select Brainbox to get help with everyday tasks using predefined skills, or just type directly into the chat panel. You can also customize skills and create new ones in the admin portal, so you can use them again throughout your day, and even share them with your team. And following your great feedback, we added a widget to Workspaces, and in Settings, you can set a shortcut for the chat panel and change the text size. Staying with ChatGPT, we also introduced Wavebox Flow, our open-source Chromium extension builder, to help you customize your web pages with new features. The builder uses Brainbox Assistant to provide help with checking and suggesting code, so you can get the results you want. With the help of Flow, you and your team can create custom extensions that you won't find in the Chrome Web Store. Head over to the blog to learn more about Flow or visit the project on GitHub. So besides ChatGPT, what else is new this month? So far in Wavebox, you can boost any tab to add it as an app in your workflow. And we've given the App Store a makeover so that it's easier to find apps and add any website. And now, you can also add an app directly from the address bar. Just start typing the name of the app you want, and click on the listing to create a new group at the bottom of the web doc, then drag and drop the group to where you want it. And have you seen the new Masterclass Tour? It's aimed at new users, but now anyone can restart and take the tour. Search for Masterclass in Settings, and click on Restart. And if you use multiple profiles, you'll find a selection of new profile avatars to choose from in Settings. And finally, why not give the new Navigator a try? It's a visual map of everything you have in the browser, and a great way to get around. That's all for this update. Subscribe at Wavebox.io for the latest news, and visit Wavebox.io slash download to begin your Wavebox journey. Thanks for watching and see you next time.